How's it going everyone? Wild Thang here and welcome to a brand new Destiny video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys the Hunger of Crota rocket launcher. You can only get it in Crota's end and you can only get it when you kill Crota right at the end of the raid. That's the only time weapons drop in that raid, just to let you know. Um, so let's just open up the options and have a look at this beast. And look at the size of this thing, it's insane. I love the uh, design of it, it's all like a green kind of bony kind of thrall looking thing. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It's got solar damage. Uh, it goes up, it got to 333, 331 on the attack. And the description is, would you defy me? I am the eater of hope. Now oh, that sounds delightful. <laughs> okay, so starting off on the left here, we have soft launch. Less recoil, penalty to velocity. Linear compensator, more predictable recoil, slight boost to velocity and blast radius, but more recoil. Aggressive launch, more predictable recoil, enhanced blast radius, reduced velocity and more recoil. Tracking, shells fired from this weapon track their targets. Now that is a huge benefit. Obviously, rocket launchers take quite a long time to fire and get to their target. Now, and all the enemies dodge out of the way it's, it's so annoying so if you've got tracking on it will just home in on that target and blow them to smithereens kind of like the galahorn um but obviously the galahorn just just craps on everything if you've got galahorn then you don't need anything else now galahorn is one weapon that has completely avoided me i've never had it drop and i hope Hopefully one day it will, or Zer will be selling it, even though I doubt he's ever going to sell it again because everyone just destroys everything with it, and it's a huge help in Crota's end. Um, so hopefully one day I'll get it, but I have to stick with weapons like these for now. Um, moving on to the right here, we have Upgrade to Damage. Then we have Quick Draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Now a lot of you guys probably already know that loading up your rocket launcher takes quite a while, uh, swapping between guns because obviously you've got to hold the triangle button and then it takes a long time to be pulled up to be ready to fire it so obviously having quick draw on it will benefit you'll benefit a lot from this and it'll be a lot quicker javelin increases warhead velocity now obviously that's a huge benefit as well heavy payload increases warhead blast radius then we have cluster bomb rockets create cluster bombs when they detonate now if you guys have hezen vengeance You'll know exactly what that means because it's kind of like little mortar bombs that drop to the floor after the target's been hit. So you'll have the tracking on, you'll hit your target, and then the bomb will explode into like little mini bombs. And then when they hit the floor, they'll explode as well. So it's giving it a quite a huge blast radius, um, annihilating anything in its path. I've only had this weapon a day since recording this video, so... I'm not entirely sure what it's like. If it is any good, I've heard people say it's rubbish, but then this is coming from people that have got Galahorn. So nothing compares to Galahorn, in my opinion, um, what I've heard anyway, because I personally don't have the weapon, like I said. But I will upgrade this nonetheless and see what it's like when it's fully upgraded and possibly do a video then of it fully upgraded so you can see the difference. Um, so you've got an upgrade to damage here. You need Glimmer, Weapon Parts, Spirit Bloom. Moving down here, you have increased damage to Hive Majors. Now, obviously, that's because it's from Crota's End, and all Crota's End enemies are Hive. So this is a good good bonus because them Hive Majors are annoying, especially the Knights that have the huge shield on them. Um, and then the last three, you've got upgrades to damage. You need Glimmer, Spirit Bloom, and then Radiant Energy. So if you guys didn't know, Radiant Energy only drops in Crota's End Raid. So make sure you try and get through the raid a couple of times. And if you've got three characters, obviously run it three times. Just because you can get loads of stuff by doing that. So anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's go see what this weapon's like. Now I'm going to have to use a heavy synth for this. Just for you guys. I have got 40, so it's not a problem. <laughs> so let's load this up. So it takes three... Oh, no. So it takes two in the chamber there. And you've got this horrible looking skull facing you the whole time. I've just noticed that. That's sc <laughs> freaking scary. Oh, why is it on this side? Surely they should put it on the end of the weapon so your enemies see it. Um, but like I said, this isn't upgraded at all. So I have no idea if this is going to be any good. Um, well, I've got four, I think, four enemies then. There is a little major or ultra. I don't know what the difference is between majors and ultras, but... Oh, there you go. <laughs> I really didn't have to be that close. 
But let's just destroy something else. Where is he? Where have you gone, matey? I can see your shadow. I think I did. <laughs> oh, there. I'm not going to blow him up, obviously. Let's go find a cluster of enemies, because that dude on his own is just a waste of a bullet. I do like the fact that it's got a little bit of red in there, so it gives it a little bit of colour. Um, let's just try and aim for these guys. Nice. Explosion! <laughs> oh. Lovely. I've only got one bullet left. Let's make this... Let's make this awesome. I was trying to do trick shots earlier, which is just silly. <laughs> Doing trick shots with rocket launcher. You can't fail. Oh, add that. I missed two. What? How did that even happen with a rocket launcher? Oh, my days. I'm just going to finish them off with the Vex. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to constantly waste heavy ammo synthesis because that would just be silly, especially on this rocket launcher. Um, but I will be upgrading it fully and I'll do another video for you guys just so you can see what it's like. Um, if it's worth upgrading for yourself. As it's got tracking on it's going to be a huge bonus because I don't have Galahorn. So I will be upgrading it just like I said. Um, if you did enjoy this video please do hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. I've got three more slots and that's it. I can't carry any more. <laughs> um, so starting off here we've got the Sunbreakers for my Warlock. Uh, these have never really been used. I just bought them just so I could have them, really. Um, I've got a Shattered Vault Cloak. Uh, Helm of Saint-14. This is...